Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast, a member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Uh, I'm going to go to a game which I'm going to coach. Uh, my kids are in soccer, and uh, we this is the championship game. We don't know who's going to win, and I wanted to talk to you guys before the game because this is very much like residency. While there might be two teams, uh, the chances of winning are not 50-50, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, so how can you figure out what your chances are to match? And that's what we're going to kind of go with this analogy. And so if you go to ASHP match and you have to actually go down to historical match statistics. So the actual site is natmatch, N-A-T-M-A-T-C-H dot com forward slash A-S-H-P R-M-P forward slash stats, S-T-A-T-S dot H-T-M-L. And we see the match trends, you know, the number of people uh, participating is a little bit sharper up. Uh, than the number of positions offered uh, and this year might be the one where uh, the number of people rejected actually is higher than the people that get positions but what I want to go to are the schools so PGY1 combined phase one and two and I've already uh, pulled this up but we're gonna use the 2020 numbers and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this into an Excel spreadsheet that's going to maybe help you figure out a baseline really how hard are you going to need to work so for example, today we're going to play, and uh, although we've won you know, our games this season, I think the first one we won 3-1, to one, then 8-1, to one, then 3-2, to two, and 1-0. to zero. And while we've won all of, and then 4-0. to zero. So we've won all of the games, but we've been behind, and we've come back. And we've been only up by one, and we've held that lead. If you've never been challenged with a possible failure, for example, getting into pharmacy school, the chances are four out of five that you'll get in, uh, a little bit higher for the class that's graduating 2021. And so if you never went for a position that you may or may not have gotten because there were three or four people going for it instead of just you know one person going for it, you may not know what level you need to get to. And so what I want to do is give you a mathematical sheet that you can use, and you can go to extremeloi.com, E-X-T-R-E-M-E-L-O-I dot C-O-M, or uh, it's actually memorizing hyphen pharmacology uh, dot teachable f- forward slash P forward slash extremeloi dot com. Either one of those uh, will get you there. And there I have this spreadsheet. And uh, the spreadsheet is this uh, Excel file. And I'll come back to that in a second. But what we're going to do is we're going to just go down the line. Auburn and Sanford both have decent uh, matching rates, so I'm not insulting anybody. Uh, It's a little bit uh, right around the average uh, in the 60s uh, when you talk about someone who's gotten an interview versus someone who hasn't. So what we'll do is we'll put in Sanford's numbers, 56, 51, 32, 19. And you do this, 56... 51, 32, 19, okay. All right, so a student that's going for residency in 2020 last year, and the best predictor of future performance is past performance, at Auburn uh, would have had an 86.15 chance of getting an interview in the first place. That's really what applicants active with the list means. It means that you have been invited, there's someone that you can match with, it makes sense for you to actually put in a ranking. Uh, Sanford had a little bit fewer number that applied and a little bit more uh, relative uh, that uh, became active with the list. So uh, nine at a little over nine out of 10 got an interview from these two schools. So two excellent schools. And what I wanna caution you about is the match rate. So the match rate comes from of these people that got the interview, 67 and 62 percent actually matched so when we look at what the actual number is of the people that wanted to get a residency 65 and the people that matched that actually is a different number so we'll put equal sum and we'll put that b5 over b3 and we get that about 58%, so a little bit less than 60% of an Auburn student in 2020 had a, went into the residency wanting to get a residency at one point in time and ended up with one. And then if we just fill over, uh, we can see that the chance for Sanford is 57. 
So while it seems like Auburn has a significantly better match rate, 67% to 62%, because Samford has a better interview rate, that is, they've gotten invited to more interviews, and again, the numbers are not very different, but they're almost the same. Statistically, I would say they're probably the same. So 58.46 at Auburn, 57.14% at Samford. So I say, okay, so we're going to stick with this match rate. We're not going to mess with this one anymore. Uh, and we'll just strike through that one. Uh, just because we want to talk about people that got an interview. So now you've gotten an interview. okay? And you're saying, all right, well, I've gotten an interview. Most people should get an interview. It's, you know, usually around 80% or higher uh, actually will get at least one interview. Now, there's a caveat to that, which is called uh, Parkinson's law, which says that 80% of the applicants or 20% of the applicants of smaller number will get 80% of the interview uh, opportunities. And that's because these are the you know, national leaders and so forth that uh, just have crazy great you know, statistics and all that stuff. But really, a lot of people get an interview and it's just the interview that many flub. And so you're like, OK, well, let, let's go with that 67 or 62 percent. The number one thing that changes that percentage is if you are graduating in this year. By far, across the board, the data show that a residency prefers a student graduating in the current year. By how much? Well, let's say the Auburn student is applying as a person who's graduating in 2021. Their chances of matching remain at around 67.86%. Let's say the Sanford student, though, is applying and they've graduated a couple years back. They have to put a 0.5 here because then their chances of getting a residency are halved. So when people say it's now or never, it's not now or never, it's now or you lose half. And so here, just by applying for residency in the year that you graduate, you have a two out of three chance on average, something like that, a little bit lower. If you apply any year after that, your chances are one in three. Now, these are two very good schools, very established schools. They have networks. This is not the case for some schools. Some schools, this, this number, uh, chances of matching after the interview is in the teens. It's super small. And it's unfair for you not to know that. I'm not bashing the school. I'm just saying you should know that if you're going to bet all of your chips on you know, residency and you think that you're betting on red or black, you're actually betting on something more like, okay, that the ball will land on a one through four out of 50 or something like that. Okay, so we wanna make sure that you know what your odds are, okay? So now let's see what happens next. Those are things that I don't know if we can really change those right now, right? So you've already gone to this pharmacy school and you've already graduated either this year or a different year. Now, this may change your plans if you were thinking about waiting a year or two that you should try now, but these are really not really changeable. But let's look at two things that are very changeable. Okay, the letter of intent. If the letter of intent is original, it's clearly written in all of that, but what students and applicants forget is that it must match the site. And it's very easy to see you know, you can have a conversation with someone and you know you're not going to date them in a few minutes. And gosh, does it take a few minutes? It can just take a few seconds. And maybe you look at them and you say, this is not going to fit. But we're not going to have that opportunity to look because it's virtual ASHP this year. So we want to do and we want to see if does it clearly match the site. And it's very easy to do. When you talk about your interests in oncology and they have no oncology program and you say how pediatrics are your passion, and you're applying to a VA that has a geriatric population, and you're saying that cardiology is super important to you, and they have no cardiology, it's not a match. Okay? So not only does it need to be original, but it nearly clearly needs to match the site. I think that you gain about 12% uh, when you do that. So somebody from Auburn that would have an original uh, clearly matching the site, would add 0.212 there. I think their chances of matching would actually be up closer to 80% or four out of five. And let's say Sanford decides, you know, I, I just don't have time to write this. I'm gonna put 
uh, I'm just going to use the letter of intent that's at UCSF. I'm just going to fill in some values and I'm going to just put a minus 0 0.12 here. Um, and that mathematically didn't work. Why? C 13, 16, and 17. So 13, 16, and 17. So maybe I need to do this. Equal sum 0.12. Negative. Well, I can either put a negative sum here. Yeah. Oh, it still doesn't like that. Well, I can do another thing. Um, so, equal sum C13, which is right, plus C16, which is right. Oh, it wants a zero there. That's what it is. Okay. And so now this 31.37% chance goes down to 19.37% chance. So they've not graduating this year. They've written a generic letter of intent. And you can kind of hear how it's going. It's like, well, I've been out of school for a while. I'm just going to give it a shot and try it, but not really put a real effort into it. And I'm in no way saying Sanford is like this. I'm just using one versus the other. And then I'll reverse this to make it, make it fair. Okay. And then the recommendations are so-so. Um, maybe the... The recommender says I recommend, but not highly recommend. So we'll put some equals some negative uh, 0.12 here. Okay, and then we'll put some zeros here so that we can get a value. And we see that their chance after their college, their letter of recommendation and recommendations is seven percent. Whereas if we look at very highly recommended from Auburn is 91%. And you say, how in the world can two schools that are in the same state that started with about the same chance to match end up with a 92% versus an 8%? And what I'm trying to tell you is that your graduation year, your letter of intent, and your letter of recommendation matter that much. Okay, so let's turn around and reverse it. I feel like that's a song. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to reverse it. So now it's the Auburn student who was out a little bit. Now it's the Sanford student who is graduating this year. Now it's the Sanford student with the excellent letter of intent. And now it is the Auburn student who uses the generic template. Now it is the Sanford student that gets the high recommendation. Now it is the Auburn student that gets the low recommendation. Okay. All of a sudden, we see that this is reversed. Exact same schools. Okay. And all I've done is change their graduation year, change their letter of intent, and their letter of recommendation. Okay. And you say, well, how can that be? How can those things be so important? I've been here for four years. Don't all the things that I've done matter? And the reality is that all the things that you've done are not very different. And all the things that you've done may differ to some degree, but we are again talking about the match. Do you match? And then when you write your own letter, you say, this is how we match. And you make very clear how it is. And we'll go into letters of recommendation later. Or you can look at my old uh, videos on the, on the teaching site. And you can say, okay, well, I got highly recommend and my preceptors are affirming that I match not just to the match and that I'm residency ready, but that I match to this site and there's a specific box for that. So again, this down here is what I want to make so very clear. And let's just make this huge. Um, I may not be able to do that, but the chances of you matching can be as high as 90% or as low as 8% or 10%. Let's just do 90 and 10, okay? Coming from the same school, just because you didn't graduate this year, because your letter of intent is generic or original, because your letter of recommendation says you are highly recommended or just a regular recommend, okay? So we'll again talk more about this but you need to know from the outset, and you can do this with your own college, put in your own numbers, applicants registered with the match, active with the list, matched and unmatched at extremeloi.com. 
uh, and you can find this sheet uh, to hopefully help you figure out where you're going to start from.